Hey, hi guys and girls, I hope you're all well. It's MRE Wednesday. Menu 18 today, beef ravioli in meat sauce. Packed by Mar Maracuil Packaging. So, I get to enjoy this meal twice. So I liked it last time. With MKS menu 3 last week. So, let's see what's inside. the Maracuil double bagging. Excellent. Just notice that. 6221. So it's packed on the 221st day of 2016 at 12.44. And this of course is a 2016 pack. From what I can remember on packaging. Let's get this all ripped open. Would you believe it? Right. Okie dokie. <coughs> Let's see what we have in here then. Of course this will be the main meal. Yep, beef ravioli. Packed on the 140th day of 2016. Right, in the sleeve, with nutritional facts, sodium is uh, 790, which is exactly the same as last week. Total fat, 8 grams, 225 grams weight, 280 calories, calories from fat, 70, and you're inspected. Net weight, 8 ounces, 227 grams again. A lot of contents there. <laughs> if my if I remember like remember rightly, uh, there's cheese in this times two. I think it's ricotta and something else. I can't remember what it was. Oh, Romano cheese. That was it. Yeah, Romano cheese. Well, here is the accessory pack. Pack C. Packed on the 180th day of 2016 and has my favourite gum, the white one. Excellent. Looking forward to that. This is chocolate banana nut muffin top TFF trans fat free. Well, I'll be damned. I've never had this one. Excellent. Sterling foods. That's packed on uh, 76 day of 2016. Brilliant. Never had that. I'm going to look forward to that. That is going to be nice. What's this? Beef snack. Had that before with beef jerky. Calorie is 60. Sodium is 480. That's packed on. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's, I mean, it's a 2016 pack. It'll be on the, on the outside sleeve somewhere. I'm sure of it. It'll be there somewhere. Right. Tropical punch. Yee. We all know what this is. It's cherry aid. <laughs> Uh, do I really open this? I don't know. I'll think about this. I've had this like three times now. Um, I could really use a beverage base for my um, other video because I haven't actually got one. I think I'll more than likely leave that today. What's this? Cheese spread. Yay, no jalapenos. Excellent. Just normal cheese spread. Had this before. It's very nice. And I was eating this all the time on our English crackers. Constantly having it all the time. So, uh, it's like the 125th day of 2016 there. Cheese spread, yay! Only well, now some crackers. Not there's going to be any in there, no, my luck. No, white wheat snack bread, so trans fat free. Yeah, so that rules out uh, crackers. 144th day of 2016. 
great. What we snack bread. Had it many times and I love it. All right, have the old MRE spoon. So I'll be putting that in my bag today. I'll be using my two or my one. Don't need to open that. Uh, don't tell me hot sauce, right? Yep, thought so. Billiards, pepper sauce. Packed by Thermo Pack LLC, Stone Mountain, Georgia. <laughs> uh, no, hell no, hell no, and no, definitely not. Not a fan of that. I've never had it, but I know for a fact I'm not going to like hot sauce. It doesn't need it. It really doesn't need it. The FRH, uh, packed on the 160th day of 2016. Of course, you can um, clean these out and use them to store water. Uh, if you have um, water purification tablets, you can actually use these as well. A uh, little tip from uh, somebody I know there. You know who you are. <laughs> Beverage based bag and um, not gonna need that, I don't think, today. Right, let's have a look at the um, accessory pack. Yeah, that looks good. Of course, standard. Oop, he dropped it. Uh, right, house TP, toilet paper. And a moist toilet. Splendor, sweetener. I've actually read the facts on that. I'll have to read that one day. I'd like to know where it's packed. I'll have a, have a, a read later on. I'll have a read later. Of course, I had always salt. Coffee and creamer. Of course, had both of these before. That uh, was it, Genial, is it? Genial. Um, that was packed in Texas, if I remember, remember rightly. Yeah, Flower Mound, Texas. Yeah, they really do know how to make coffee down there. <laughs> that company really does make a nice coffee. So, so those two, so we definitely have coffee, even though I just had a coffee. I'll have a good American coffee. And my favourite, white gum. Excellent. Put that over there. Oh, no. Keep it in sight. I'll, I'll know where it is. Right then. So that is what we've got for dinner today. Uh, very nice selection there. But uh, I'm going to keep... Put that over there with that pack. Uh, going to keep that uh, Tropical Punch separate. Because uh, uh, I've, I've had it quite three times. It just tastes like cherry aid. Cherry, a flat cherry aid. Uh, but I do need a beverage base for my next... Uh, one of my other videos, sorry. I don't have a beverage based powder, so I'm going to leave this out today. If that's alright with you lot. I'll just have a coffee because I really do like their coffee. It's awesome. Right, okay, let's get it laid out on the tray. Alright, there we go. All laid out on the tray. We're ready for dinner. It's going to be an excellent dinner today. I can safely say I'm going to have this uh, meal again if I can find it again. It's going to be uh, very nice. I could just seriously take this meal to that uh, camping event in August. That'd be real nice. That'd be a great dinner. And I'll uh, tell you later on. Right then, okay, get the FRH up, up and running. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to film because it just takes so another like four or five minutes. So I'm going to just prep this and then uh, once it starts heating up, I'll bang it in the sleeve. Then I'll stick it over there. Right, okay. That is now getting hot. Let's get that in the sleeve. A good heat today. That's uh, very hot. That will not go in. Ow! Set. We're in. Alright then, steam coming off of that now. So I'll put that over there. Bung it on my grenade or something. Ah, okay, that's going. Right then. Uh, let's get some of these snacks and stuff undone. I've got the coffee as well to do yet. 
Right, start with a beef snack, aka beef jerky. Have this a few times, wonder which one it will be. Total fat one gram. Saturated fat zero grams. Trans fat zero. Cholesterol 26 mil. So home of sodium 480. Vitamin A, C, and calcium and iron. Just what the body needs. Everything you need. Right, there we go then. Balls, original beef stick. Yeah, I like their uh, stuff. Contains soy. See, there's the soy again. Look. There's that soy again. US inspected. I think that's uh, Memphis. <laughs> what is packed in Memphis, Tennessee? Home of Elvis. Oh, <laughs> very much. The King. That was packed on the 124th day of 2016. If I can open this, probably not. No, that's tough. Real tough. No, it's tough. Very tough packing, as I tell you, real tough. You definitely need a knife to open this. No, I can't do it. It's just not having it. God, blimey! Vacuum seal a little bit. Right, finally got that. <laughs> God, that's tough packaging, seriously tough. Real tough packaging there. Yeah, beef jerky. American beef jerky, best in the world. Even better than that Australian stuff. We what we snap bread, trans fat free. Yeah. Have this many times. There we go. Nice fresh bread. Mmm, love that yeasty smell. Very nice. <laughs> love that. Love that. And the muffin top, which I've never had. Chocolate banana nut muffin top, which I have never had. I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be awesome. There we go. Is it in one piece? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> well, there you go. Yep, smells just like banana. Mmm, I like the smell of that, that's awesome. A bit in the tray there. Mm. That's that. Some coffee to do. A cheese spread to open. Once I've kneaded it. That will go on the uh, wheat snack bread again. I'll finish that snack bread because uh, last time I didn't. <laughs> right, okay then. Let's get the coffee on the go. Right, time for coffee. Uh, I'm going to use one of my pepper sachets just to see if it makes any difference for a change. Although all those meals should come with pepper, really. Right then, use my uh, World War II. Uh, Mug, canteen, Janelle, best coffee makers I think. Other than the um, the um, MRE Star coffee, the deep rich coffee, I think this is pretty pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's real nice. I mean, I could have used a beverage base bag if I wanted to, to put it in with a heater, but I just prefer to do it this way, you know. Cream up, non dairy, as per usual. I just like it this way because every time I use that heater, it seems to burn the water. I'm not sure why. So I think it's just better to do it this way. Right, okay then. Get the hot water. About half at the canteen cup. Give it a bit of a mix.
Of course, this takes a long time to cool down. <laughs> Hell of a long time. Long, long time to cool down. All right, there we go. Great American coffee. Put it over there to cool down. <laughs> right, now for that lovely cheese. Which I'm looking forward to because I really did enjoy this on some uh, English cream crackers last time. Very, very, very nice. Right, okie dokie. Right. I just I can't do it. I just can't rip that corner off. Let's use a knife. Right, okay. That lovely uh, snack bread. Make a cheese buddy there. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Sort of a cheese buddy, isn't it, really? <laughs> kind of. Old Smokey's uh, peanut buddy. My cheese buddy! Brilliant. Oh, right. So, let's spread this about. Let's put some more on there, I think. Because I love this cheese. Mm -mm -mm. I'll be eating this for the rest of the week. There we go. All nicely spread. Excellent. Run my thumb. Right, there we go. Very nice. There's not two of these. That would have made a pretty good cheese sandwich. Damn, <laughs> what a shame. Mm -hmm. and that will probably go quite well with the uh, beef ravioli because that has cheese in it. I'll probably more than like the. Uh, put that on the bread as well just to see what it tastes like. Just have a bit of ravioli with that bread. But yeah, so we've got this for dinner beef. Jerky, which I'll start eating now. Because that's more starches. Mmm. Love this stuff. Just so I can't get this in the UK in our supermarket. I would eat this all the time. It's really nice. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice, I like that. Mmm, balls. They really do make excellent beef jerky sticks. Smoked flavour added ingredients. Let's just have a quick read. Well, apparently it's just as it's smoked. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's packed by the Monogram Food Solutions Company. Memphis, Tennessee. Which is very nice. I'll give them a 10 out of 10 for backing up beef jerky. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I love that beef jerky, it's awesome. Love it. Oh, fantastic. Mm. I love it. Alright, time to put this bread. Give us a bit of a try. And that cheese is just absolutely gorgeous. American cheese. It's like that processed cheese, you know, that you guys get over there. I have nothing in the supermarkets, I don't think, that fits that description of that cheese bread. No, it's got like its own unique taste. Mmm. Mmm, very nice though. Really is fantastic with that um, snack bread. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Got some more jerky. Mmm. Mm. 
Seems a lot with prop aircraft flying about today. Keep hearing droning from the engines. Mmm, fantastic. Mmm. Fantastic. Well, I just want to say thank you very much to my eBay seller for selling me this meal. Um, thanks for that. I really appreciate it. It's a great menu. All right, I'm going to order this again. <laughs> Definitely order this again. Very nice. It's going to go great for a trip. And also, that uh, menu 21 you have as well, I want to have that again. No point filming it because I've already done that video, but I will take it with me on that camping thing. I will be buying that soon, hopefully. Another prop plane. <laughs> so probably a C-130 or something. Um, and also, thanks for the extra, the three extra things you put in my um, um, packaging. Thanks for that. They are also going to go into another video of the homemade pack. Of course, the net weight was two point, sorry, twenty-two point seven gram, not two hundred twenty-seven, twenty-two point seven grams. 0.8 ounces hickory flavored beef stick chunked and formed hickory that was it that was the thing I was picking up I couldn't remember the name of it um, that's packed on there it is 182nd day of 2016 hickory that was it mm, bloody nice though, I tell you seriously <laughs> hickory mm. goes very well very well with that beef jerky Smoked hickory, mmm, fantastic. Right then, I'll get up. The meal, dinner is ready. I should be now. It's a good 15 minutes. Ugh. Put it over there. Um, should I rip it in half? Or should I grab it? Sit in a bit first. Okie doke, dinner is ready. Ooh. Dinner is ready. Right, had this last week and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's beautiful. Can't not wait to have this again. And I will buy this again, definitely. Right, let's see if we can open it. One thing I have noticed with other people's videos as well, they're having the same trouble I'm having. As soon as you put that thing in the heater, everything starts to get real sort of stiff, because that should really rip easily, and I just can't do it. No, won't have it. Try the other way. It will not rip. No. <laughs> it, will, it just will not go. Unbelievable. Oh, I'll use a knife then. Use a knife. Crazy. That's just crazy. All right, here we go. Beef ravioli again, second time around. Can't wait to have this. Piping hot, that uh, FRH did a fantastic job. Again, let's scrape some stuff out. Right, put a bit of pepper on it for a change. I 
can't even open that. <laughs> My hands are wet. My hands are wet. <sighs> right. Put some pepper. Give it another flavour. Mmm. Spoon. I see the pattern's gone from that spoon, so I use it every day for breakfast. Right, okay then, dinner is ready. At last. Time for that lovely beef ravioli again, times two. Fantastic. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Again, just like last week, same thing. A lovely tomato paste, Romano cheese and the uh, other cheese. Oh, sort of ricotta cheese as well, yeah. And pasta, and the beef, fantastic. Absolutely first class. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Uh, this is the beef, um, beef ravioli we get in our supermarkets with tomato and minced beef sauce. It's almost like that, it's exactly like that, but its sauce is a bit lighter. It's not so sort of thick like that. It's uh, you mean you can actually drink it. It's, it's that sort of uh, saucy, you know. But that's our uh, British version of this version, the American version. <laughs> Which one's best? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. A black pepper. Look at that black pepper on there. Oh, yummy. I mean, this one's quite stodgy compared to the English one. You know, the tomato paste is great, but the sauce and that ravioli in our tins is like real nice. It goes real well. It's actually like a proper sauce. But this is a good army one, the American army, any day. I would have this again and again and again. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. So some beef jerky. Well, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, great. Absolutely fantastic. I think it's probably one of the other best dinners I've ever had at an MRE yet. So along that sort of cheese tortellini line. You know, it's like that sort of range. But this is definitely going on my favourite list. Mmm. Black pepper there. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, that black pepper does real well with this meal. Very, very nice. I want beef jerky too. Mmm. Wow. Right then, I'm just going to pause the video and finish this off. Um, no, actually, hang on, before we do that, before we do that, let's just put some of this ravioli on this cheese bread. Put some of this ravioli and tomato paste on this cheese bread. Let's see uh, what that's like. Mmm. 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 If you ever get this menu 18 guys, put that with that. It is a very nice combo. Excellent. This contains two cheeses and that cheese. This is nice on its own, but with that ravioli. Oh, it's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Mmm. What a great dinner this is. Loving this. 10 out of 10. Any day. Mmm. Mmm. Right, let's finish my dinner. I'll be back. And if you added that uh, billiards pepper sauce to it, it'll just turn it around like Tabasco pepper. 
it'll just turn it right around and give it another uh, flavour. Vinegar, I like red peppers, I like salt, I like. But I doubt if I like that hot sauce, so pepper sauce. Shame. Well, I'll hang on to it just in case I get brave enough to try it. <laughs> right, let's finish this off. Well, that was a great dinner time, uh, there, lads. Fantastic. Let's see if this coffee cooled down it. Yeah, bang on. Absolutely perfect coffee again. I'll have that with a muffin top. Right, let's see his last ravioli. Mmm. 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 Wow. Well, the pasta, or Americans say pasta, was very uh, soft and just dissolves in your mouth. The beef was beefy, it's fantastic. Good, good texture to it. Excellent with the pepper. But I would have that again and again and again. Same thing with this, you know, with our uh, Tesco uh, supermarket uh, beef ravioli. I have this again and again and again. It's fantastic with toast. <laughs> so it really goes well with toast. But this cheese bread, um, it's just phenomenal. Seriously, absolutely phenomenal. It's perfect. I would like to see a peanut butter instead, but I have got peanut butter. I'll have two peanut butters. I could put on that instead of cheese, but it's just a perfect combo with that cheese. Perfect. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Bread very soft, very yeasty. Goes great with the cheese. I'll just have that again and again and again. Right, coffee should have cooled down now. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Right, so it's time for that muffin top then. This I am really looking forward to because I've never had this before. See a bit of a chunk missing. <laughs> the nut, oh, oh, nearly fell in there. <laughs> oh, it's a very crumbly, isn't it? Oh, God. There's a nut there, I'm not sure what a nut that is. Could be hazelnut, peanut, I don't even know. But the banana taste is just excellent. A bit of cheese on it. Mmm. Yeah, that's real nice. Mmm. Very bananary. Very bananary. Unusual banana we taste so, but it's very nice. Mmm. Oh, great that Texas coffee. Fantastic, look at that. Some nut you see that nut there, but I'm not sure what I couldn't the writing was so small, couldn't actually read it. It's just ridiculously small. But the smell is just chocolate, banana. That's all I can advise you what that smells like. Chocolate banana. Mmm. Mmm, very soft. I can't really taste the nuts, but yeah, it's just real nice. It's on that coffee. Text